Welcome back to Heart to Heart Talks with Anita Bahal. Hi there. Hope you're having a nice, lovely day. Okay, so on the spirit of uh, Thanksgiving, which we know it's uh, American Thanksgiving this week, and Thanksgiving is celebrated on different days in different parts of the world. And keeping with traditions, it was about a big feast after harvest time. And today, a lot of people um, celebrate, continue to celebrate Thanksgiving. But I want to talk about what are we truly thankful for? In my opinion, um, just being thankful for life is so important. It is so important. But I remember, and if I think uh, correctly, my husband told me once, you can't just say you are thankful. We have to live thankful. And that was very, very powerful. You know, you know, like if somebody gives you a present, okay, let's say you get a really nice book. Somebody gives you a beautiful book and you're so grateful, you're so thankful, thank you so much, or a beautiful toy. But then you just pack it up in a corner and you never use it. Or the book just totally collects dust or whatever it was, or a piece of jewelry somebody gave you and you're like, oh, it's so beautiful. And then you never use it. To me, that is not being truly grateful. So you say it with your tongue, you, you know, like with your mouth, you express gratitude or what we say being thankful, but we don't truly live that way. Now that is just simple, basic uh, examples. Um, I'm on the road actually, and I'm a bit late on my video, so forgive me. But I just want to say those are very, very small examples of um, gratefulness. Let's look at our beautiful gift, this life. How can we express true gratitude for this life? We must be so grateful for our hands so that these hands can serve others. We must be so grateful that we can be able to breathe. You know how many people have so many different sorts of issues? We can walk, we can talk, we can use our mind. We have that power. We are human beings with an intellect. We have the power to choose and choose the right things. So I tell you, don't just say, oh, I'm grateful to be alive and don't live that way. I could still remember when I was living apart from my husband, which I did for about approximately six years, for those who don't know that. Yes. I would be very grateful. I would say it in words like I would be going driving to school. And something beautiful happened, like I got some good news about my son or um, something wonderful happened within my family. And I'll be like, thank you, Lord. Thank you. And I'll be so happy. Yet, many a day I used to cry. I used to focus on all the, a lot of negatives. I would focus on my husband not being there. I'd focus on what he wasn't doing. I would focus on how much work I had to do. And believe me, I would swim in the mud about many trivial issues dealing with family not only my husband mind you but no need to get into that negative talk but family issues people accusing me of things and that were not true and all sorts of negativity but I swam in the mud I was there and so even though I was saying that I was very very thankful I was thankful to God for having three beautiful kids, that my husband was progressing, that I had a wonderful job, that I had lovely parents, that my children were doing so well, they were so obedient. But many a day I was in tears. Many a day I was complaining. Many a day I was speaking not words of thankfulness, no. And how could I have said that I was truly thankful when this is what I am doing? So ask yourself today, when you get up this morning and you say, thank you, God, or thank you to the universe that I am alive. Are you really living in a thankful way? Are you living the life showing this true gratitude? No, I'm not saying that we have to be perfect. We can start very small by writing down or saying out loud some things that we are thankful for. But then when we do this, let's live the gratitude. Let's live this way. So again, if you are thankful for this beautiful mouth, let's say, make sure we say kind words to others to uplift their day. If we are beautiful for our eyesight, may we read a lot of books and empower others with the knowledge. If we are happy for our hands,
may we serve others and in that light in everything that you are grateful for I ask you humbly please please live as though we are grateful and remember don't sow the wrong seeds it's like a plant you know how I love my plants you ignore the plant oh he can dry up he will not sprout he will not grow he will be totally sad and neglected but however if we are truly thankful and pay attention to those beautiful seeds of thankfulness that seed will grow and blossom and so too where we put our attention those beautiful things will grow so find yourself doing more positive things and remember don't just say it live it be thankful so have a great day and join me again on heart to heart talks with anita bahal love and light to all of you have a great weekend bye